Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Mocha and Chai libraries to write unit test cases for your Node.js applications. So Mocha and Chai are JavaScript libraries that you can use to write unit test cases and uh, you can go to their home pages. So for Mocha it is uh, mochajs.org and you can read more about it and similarly uh, you can visit uh, Chai framework library as well. So Mocha is a testing library. Uh, you can use this as a test framework whereas Chai is an assertion library that you can use to uh, assert few things after you are done testing with it. So I will show in detail uh, what I mean uh, but both of these two serve separate purposes and both are in general used in conjunction to write unit test cases in Node.js or JavaScript. So uh, I'm going to show you a complete example of how that is done. Uh, so let's go to uh, a terminal and let me create a new directory called mocha test uh, so that uh, we have a separate directory to do our testing. So let's go to mocha test and this is currently empty. Now first what we will do is we will initialize it as an npm module. So to do that just do an npm init minus y. If you just do npm in it, it will ask you a bunch of questions that you have to answer. But if you do a minus y, then it will take defaults and it will create a package.json file for you. So this is the content of package.json. Uh, you can see it, it has name, version, uh, what is the main index file, which is index.js. Then there is scripts tag, uh, which says test currently. And uh, it just prints out that there are no tests specified right now. And there is keyword author and license. So, uh, you have initialized an npm repository now. Now let's go ahead and install two of our de dependencies which is mocha and chai. So to do that you can say in npm install uh, mocha chai and what we want to do is we want to save this as dev dependencies because these are not needed when you actually use the app but more for testing. So you can use save, save dev tag and it should be installed as uh, dev dependency or a uh, local folder. So let's give it a moment uh, to get installed. So once that is done, we will see a node modules directory uh, in the mocha test directory and that will have uh, the dependencies that we need and we will also see that uh, the package.json is edited to have this dependency. So let's do an ls here. You can see that uh, it has added node modules and it has added package uh, log.json. If you go to node modules, you can see there are a bunch of dependencies that uh, it has added. Uh, so these is uh, transitive dependencies that Mocha and Chai needs. So that's what that is. So if you go back to your root directory, uh, you can go to package.json and let's see what it has. So you can see it has added uh, two dev dependencies, Chai and Mocha. And your main module is now dependent on this two module. So once you have the dependencies in place, uh, let's go ahead and start writing code uh, of our main, main app. And then we will go ahead and uh, write test for it. So at this point of time, I would recommend uh, you to go ahead and open uh, your code in an ID. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So uh, as I said, uh, we have package.json uh, currently test. Uh, there is no scripts and uh, it has two dev dependencies. So you can see that the main file is index.js. So let's go ahead and try to create that first. So you can create a new file. Let's call it index.js as it expects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write two functions here. Uh, one is addition and another is subtraction. And I'm going to export it uh, from this module so that our test can actually test the logic that is there in addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have var addition. We'll just say function. Let's say it takes two arguments a and b and it returns a plus b. Similarly, uh, we will do for, uh, okay, let's just return. And similarly, we will do for subtraction. And this returns a minus b. Finally, we will export this functions with module.exports. And we will say add is addition and subtract is subtraction. Let's just copy this. 
Okay, so this should uh, make sure that you have two functions and both of them are exported using this module. Now we are going to start writing a mocha test and see how it works. By default, when you try to run mocha, it will try to look up for test uh, in a directory called test. So let's go ahead and create that first. So you need to create a folder called test. And once you do that, uh, you can create your test files here. So the nomenclature that we follow is for each uh, main file that you have, you should have a corresponding file in test folder. So in our case, we just have index.js. So let's go ahead and create a new file here, which would, let's call it index test.js. Now this would have uh, the test for our index test. And let's see how we can write a uh, mocha test uh, for the add and subtract functions that we have in index.js. So to start with, uh, we would need reference to uh, the assertion library of chai. And the second thing we need is a reference to the actual index.js exported function. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's def first get a reference to the assert. So we would require chai and we require assert method of that. Uh, next thing that we require is the index itself. So we will just say require and this is one level above and is index. Okay. So once that is done, uh, you can start writing test and the way you write the mocha test is using describe. So uh, mocha understands what describe is and essentially describe is logical grouping of uh, your test. So the first argument is what this test is. So the outer describe, we would say this is tests about index file. And the second argument is a function uh, that has the actual test cases. Now you can have a test case over here, a list of test cases here, or you could even further uh, distribute or group uh, the test that that is for example we have two methods right addition and subtraction so we could have two separate groups here and see how it uh, works so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to add one more describe here uh, and I'm going to say uh, tests addition and similarly you have a function here which actually tests the addition workflows so to write a test case you use an IT method and again, the first one is the method name. So let's say test addition functionality. And the second one is the function itself that gets executed, uh, that you want to get executed as part of this test. So uh, what we will do is we will get the result of index.add. We will say phi and four. We know the, what the result is, it's nine. And we will use the assertion library to print uh, what the values are. So we know we want to compare result with nine. Okay. So this should work. So let's go ahead and quickly try this out. So you should be in mocha test directory and all you need to do is run mocha and we have already uh, installed this dependency. So it is already there in the node modules directory inside this. So if you run this, uh, if there are no issues, uh, it should work. So you can see it says uh, test about index file, test addition, it, it works fine. So let's go ahead and add one more test here that checks the return type. So we will just say return type and uh, we will instead of equal, we will say type of and you can actually go back to the chai assertion library and you can go to uh, the guides and uh, you can go to session styles and you can see uh, there are multiple session types. For example, there is type of, there is equal, there is length of and stuff like that. So you may want to refer this, but for now I'm going to use type of and we know the type of uh, result is a number, not a string. So let's go ahead and try to run this one more time. So let's clear the console and let's run it. And it says uh, type of is not a function. Okay. Uh, what did we do? Let's go back and see what the problem is. Let's just copy this. I think uh, the O is capital. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. 
and you can see uh, the two test cases passes successfully so let's go ahead and try to break this so let's go back to index.js and instead of uh, adding in, in case of addition let's send a subtract uh, actually subtract and return it in addition now in this case if you go back to the test uh, this is going to work fine because it is still going to return a number but the result of 5 minus 4 is going to 1 and it is definitely not equal to 9 so this should fail so let's go ahead and uh, try to test that so if you run uh, you can see that it was 9 but uh, it actually returned 1 right so that's an issue and it says that it is uh, the test case is failing and that's how uh, unit test case should behave if you are by mistakenly changing any logic uh, that you are not supposed to it should break uh, the test cases so let's go back and revert it to what we want and uh, we will also go ahead and copy this whole thing so that we do exactly the same thing for subtraction so let's just substitute addition with subtraction and we will change the method and so this subtract 5 minus 1 4 should return 1 and the return type is again obviously number so that should be fine so let's go ahead and run this and see uh, how it works and there you go you can see that the all four test cases are working fine so that's how you test it out now uh, given the fact that this is an npm module we do not want to run uh, mocha every time over here right so and if you also go to package.json you can see there is already a test script that uh, it gives so you should ideally use this instead of uh, directly run mocha uh, and obviously you could have more customizations on top of that so if you go to Mocha and if you go to uh, the getting started guide, you can see all the options that it supports. For example, if you search for recursive, then if you want uh, the subfolders of the test folder to be scanned for your test files, you can use a recursive flag. And similarly, there are uh, multiple command line usages. So you do not obviously expect uh, users to manually do that. So you can go ahead and add it here. So for simplicity's sake, uh, let's go ahead and just add mocha here and once you do that you can go back to your console and instead of uh, running mocha what we will run is npm run test right and this should work so again it does the same thing it internally runs uh, mocha uh, and it has dependency on mocha so it is able to resolve it so this is how you should do it and if you have any dependencies uh, or any uh, command line flags that you want to pass to mocha then you can add it here and uh, you can get it to work so uh, that's how you write test cases using mocha and chai framework uh, do let me know if you have any questions thank you